Hi everyone. I want to take a few minutes to talk about the difference between a front wheel drive and a mid wheel drive electric wheelchair. I want to begin with the benefits and challenges of a front wheel drive electric wheelchair. A front wheel drive electric wheelchair has a larger turning radius than a mid wheel drive electric wheelchair. I want to say this again now using different words. Front wheel drive electric wheelchairs need more space when they turn around in a circle. In practical terms, front wheel drive electric wheelchairs are especially good for going around town and doing your errands, like getting you to the grocery store, visiting friends, or doing other social engagements. The way I see it is someone who would use a front wheel drive electric wheelchair would have some mobility even if they rely on crutches, a cane, or walker to get around their home environment. A front wheel drive electric wheelchair is more conducive to an open concept home. So what I'm talking about is where the kitchen, living room, and dining rooms tend not to have walls splitting up these sections of the home, but you just happen to have the kitchen and cupboards in one area, your TV in a different area, and your dining room table set up somewhere else but all sort of part of the same big room. Without an open concept living environment, you will have a thousand and one small accidents and it will become really frustrating as you see the walls in your home and the furniture being dinged up. Now let's talk about a mid-wheel drive electric wheelchair. It's more ideally suited for someone who relies on an electric wheelchair from the moment they get out of bed until they go back to bed. The reason is that when you rely on an electric wheelchair, it's coming with you to the tight spaces that you see and need to get into, such as getting a, a blanket out of a linen closet. You can still do all your same errands with a mid-wheel drive electric wheelchair. You know, it's not gonna keep you bound up in your home, but it's really gonna come shining through when you're in the tight spaces and it's going to pay off if you're someone whose lifestyle lets you you know for example attend church or go for coffee twice a week with a friend it's going to really help you out when you're inside and navigating tight spaces so the things that I would think about in addition to this is the layout of your furniture. You know, is a coffee table going to be in the way of you needing space to turn around? I would also take into consideration if your health is expected to worsen and lose your mobility more during the next few years of your life. And then I would finally take into consideration if you're making plans to move 
such as the sudden disability where it would now make more sense having a host built for you than trying to make it work out. So I get that this is a really big decision. There needs to be some level of trust between you and the person who's selling you the electric wheelchair and not just for the sale but also following up with you as the wheelchair might need adjustments when it's new or even if you have a few small accidents with it and like a tire needs to be replaced for example okay take time to think this out try to find out the turning radius and then get a buddy over and measure on the floor so you could pretend you were in the electric wheelchair to see if it would work so you're not setting yourself up for failure you know when once you're using an electric wheelchair it's a lifeline it's a tool it's not who you are it's to help you be who who you can be it's to keep you from being stuck in bed if it's at all possible and it's for you to live your life to the absolute fullest that's possible. I hope this has helped you. I'm more than happy to answer questions that I am able to. I don't know that I'm the best qualified to do so. You know, someone who knows you and has seen your living environment would be able to help speak into your life better but I'm more than happy to share the experiences I've had and try to encourage you along your way. If you're just starting out with an electric wheelchair, I'm continually making videos about my life and trying to do this to help others. I cordially invite you to make use of what I've put online. If you have suggestions for other topics, I'm open to them and will gratefully receive any ideas you have. Thank you for this time you spent with me today. Bye for now.